Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about something that you, some of the viewers have asked me. Why is there water inside the uh, changing room, the porta potty area? Why is there water there? Uh, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But I will show you guys right now what I mean. This is what I mean. Where is there water inside here? A lot of water. And where's it coming from? Where's the water coming from? And I had to do some research to see where's the water coming from. And there's plenty of water. I'll leave out of this exit here, which I always keep it open because of this issue here. And I'm going to show you guys where that water is coming from. This is what I'm talking about. There's so much water coming in here. We're gonna figure out where the water's coming. I'm not in the ocean right now, but I'll show you where the water's coming from. Here. There inside the anchor locker, that's where your leak is at. Um, usually, when you wash the uh, anchor or rope, um, that's what happened to me. I wash it, and all that water has a tendency. Some of it will exit through the uh, anchor locker hole, but I'll show you what is the floss that it comes inside of the cabin. Look at that with all that water. And the bill just working hard to take that water out of there. Um, but let me show you. See, the water is supposed to exit right through here, which it is. It is flowing right through there. But why is it getting inside? Why is it getting inside the cabin in the storage area? Well, I'm gonna show you that. So I'm gonna show you now. I did this little sketch here to show you guys where's the water coming in from. Um, the water will come in, uh, especially when you clean your locker, all the water will come in through here. Especially when you have a little bit of water accumulated, like right around here, like maybe a quarter or half. Um, the water is supposed to exit this way, right? Exit this way. But when you have a little bit of accumulation of water here, the water has the pressure of tendency to come this way. And when it comes this way, will come all the way through here and fill up all your storage area here and this is where I put all my belongings here my valuables when I go overseas so they get wet so this is a big problem here as you saw in the video water was gushing all through here right my concern here is if you have rough waves coming in and pounding here you're gonna get water right in here too Right? Or if you have some passengers sitting right up here, this bow is gonna go down and then you're gonna get water right through here, all the way here. It has happened to me several times and I, you know, I keep asking myself how the water gets in here. So 
this is proven explanation where the water is coming from. Um, you have to have a little communication here to have a lot of water coming in through here. So do your test, put a lot of water like halfway and you'll see the water gulching right through here, right? All the way to your storage area. If you put a little bit, very little is gonna go in. It's not gonna be a lot because you need a little bit of water to be here uh, accumulated. But again, my concern is when the ocean is rough and you have a lot of pounding here, water can have the tendency to come this way if this wave keeps uh, hitting the bow here. It's very close to the water line. It's only a couple of inches between here and here of the tank. So the tube that is here is very short and I'll show you what I mean. This is the outer hall and this is the little O-ring tube that's here, right? And there's a little tube that goes here and it stops right there. But there's a gap in between here. Uh, this gap, this is where the water can go in and out. So this is your main problem here. This tube is not all the way up, all the way up here. If it was all the way up there, then that problem would exist. And right now I'm gonna show you the anchor locker. Where's the little floss, engineering floss here. Okay, and here, you'll see that there's a gap in between. See how my screwdriver is going in there? And also from the other side, you'll see that screwdriver going in between. So there's a gap, definitely there's a gap right through there. You can see so, some water accumulated there. And to fill this gap here, I'm gonna use this clear silicone and it's for general purpose adhesive, interior or exterior. And I'm gonna try to remove this um, hole plug here, remove this so I can fill all this with the silicone and then put the plug back on so that way I get better coverage here to seal that area. Look at the gap. Look at the gap in between. That's what we want to fill up here. That gap. And then later put the uh, plug on. That's a huge gap there. So this only covers a portion of the hole. There's about this much uh, that is seeping into the hole. So as you see there, it's almost a, like a half an inch. That's it, it's all done. It's already installed. All right, I left enough uh, silicone in there. Now I'll wait until it dries. I'm gonna put a fan to it and wait uh, dries quicker. Alright, a day has gone by and I let it dry overnight. So I want to make sure now that 
there's no leaks. Alright, it's dry. Let's turn the water on. All right, the anchor locker is full. It's way full, it's almost all the way to the top. I'm gonna check now if there's any leaks. Oh. My feet are dry. There's no water down here. The whole storage compartment is dry. So there it is, guys. Um, that's where your water's coming from. Right now I have the locker uh, full of water. So now, when I put valuables here in this compartment, it's not gonna get soaked and wet. That's something that I had to live with for about one year. And I did not know where the water comes from. If it was one of the hatches, or anything like that, but all that, there's channels, and those channels would send the water here, so none of the hatches are, were uh, putting water inside. They did design that very well, but the major flaws was on the uh, anchor locker. Um, it, I don't think it would have been real hard just to put some kind of uh, adhesive silicone between those two halls to avoid that problem. So hopefully, I'm sure Yamaha will fix that in the future. Uh, but for now, everybody that has a 190 FSH Yamaha uh, can do your own repair or uh, tell the dealer about it, see what they want to say. Uh, if they say that's just the way the bolts are built, then uh, you already know how I did it. So that way you guys can do it also. It's only gonna cost you four dollars on the adhesive and a little bit of patience, that's all. And it's worth every penny. Just look at the home. All right guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And hopefully this will help a lot of the uh, owners or future owners of uh, uh, Yamaha 1 IFSH to, uh, to avoid that water problem. And let me show you now where the water is supposed to go. That's how the water is supposed to come out of the anchor locker. And now, no more water will go back into the hall, especially salt water.